city of Oakland had to update our cultivation and, and cannabis ordinances because there was a change in state law and then there was a change um, in state law yet again with recreational use, the passage of Prop 64. When we updated our uh, cannabis and cultivation regulations, um, I was able to get through what I call the equity permit program. And the equity permit program would set aside 50% of the permits that are issued so that they are issued um, to at least one team member who lives in certain beats in primarily District 7, but some in District 6, that there were high levels of arrest even after the voters voted to make cannabis a low-level police priority. And so at least one team member has to be live in those beats to be eligible for the equity program, or you have to be formally incarcerated with a conviction arising out of the city of Oakland. Um, we got that passed, and that is the current law in the city of Oakland. It's the first time in the country that anybody has come up with a tangible program that would allow for people who have historically been victimized by the war on drugs to participate now in the very same activity and make billions of dollars. I said before that the cannabis industry in just the legal states was to projected to make $6.8 billion as of last year. By 2020, the projections are in just the legal states it will be $40 billion a year. Um, when you look across the country at the ownership of cannabis and recreational opportunities in the industry, they are owned by primarily white men. And so when we pass the equity ordinances, those very same people who have been so liberal who have come to communities of color and made millions and millions of dollars don't want to see equity happen. They want to delete, dilute the equity program. They are doing everything they can to push back to get us to, to dilute it so that we allow them to come back in and have ownership opportunities. They want a clear pathway, as they say it, to legalization. If we do that, we will set up a system of systemic racism. We will deprive our communities of the opportunity to invest in our own community. Right now, there are 133 businesses that have taken out licenses to operate under the canvas provisions. Of that 133, only 47 of them are Oakland-based. They are from all up and down the state of California and other places. We need to be able to make sure that dollars get reinvested back into our community. We need to be able to make sure that people who have been victimized have an opportunity to meaningfully participate in this growing industry. And so on March 7th now, the council will come back and vote on whether or not to keep the equity program as it is or make some adjustments. We need to make sure that they do equity in the city of Oakland because we are setting the pace for what happens around this country relative to cannabis. This is an opportunity we can ill afford to lose.